Dave Marsh, Shy Golf TV, back once again. I'm going to introduce you to a cool little shot that I've been working on. And basically it's designed for when the ball sat in either Kikuya grass or it sat right down at the bottom of the roots. Now ordinarily, I used to play this shot with the handle pretty much well forwards and I'd be trying to get the leading edge cutting in through the ball there. And you know what? What I found is that the leading edge would tend to get cut down into the grass and it, I couldn't get it through it so I'd end up sort of playing a shot and it was easy to kind of get a ball that came out like that that didn't just have any energy on the club would get very very snagged up very quickly but what I want to show you is if we get the ball dropped down even into the bottom of the grass what we're now going to do is we're going to use this very soft edge here now what tends to happen is when we can get the leading edge out of control and away from trying to dominate, we can get this club sliding through the grass. You can see, when I go like this, it's not cutting into the grass at all. Now the reason is, is we've now taken the leading edge from doing this and cutting in to basically being sat back and just sliding through. So there's so much of the short game, shall I tell you, is about the setup. And if you set up correctly, you won't believe how consistent this shot is. So let me give you some of the secrets. Number one, we're going to take a very square stance. But now, instead of setting the grip handle so it points on our left thigh or our forward leg, we're actually going to put it on our back leg. And what that does now is it sets the angle of the club nice and open, but it also stops the club actually cutting into the grass. And now, here's the real secret, which is so awesome when you try it, even out of grass. I actually don't want you to try and hit the golf ball. I want you to aim one inch behind the ball. It's almost magical how this shot begins to come out. You can play it from so many different cool positions. So what I'm going to do is I set the club up, I aim the club at my back leg, and then basically I'm just going to get used to swinging from there and I'm going to hit an inch behind the ball. And you listen to the difference of the noise of this ball coming out. So from there I'm keeping the shaft angle backwards, which does feel a bit peculiar first of all, but you'll get used to it. Now from there, watch what happens. That ball pops straight up and out. And it is just incredible how easily it comes out. Let me hit one more ball and you'll get that feeling again. I'm just going to drop it. This time I'm really going to hammer it down to the bottom of that grass. That ball's almost like a plug lie. So let's get it from there now. Get that handle back. I mean, trust me, this lie is deep. And that handle is back and I'm just going to hit the ground an inch behind. From there. Now even that one that was right down at the bottom of the ground, the club didn't cut so much and the ball popped up and out. And it's so important to be able to understand why this works, but it's very cool when you try it. So that's the shot that I want to show you today. It's a bit more of a speciality shot. Go out there, try this, make sure you set up correctly because that is what's going to make it work. Now you've been watching iGolf TV, the place to be. Well, we are teaching you some speciality shots and waking up your game.